Another exciting year of Hearthstone is right around the corner. My name is Cora, and today I'll be sharing some highlights from our 2023 core set update. The new core set goes live with the rotation of the Tavern Zodiac, where we'll say farewell to the Year of the Hydra and begin the Year of the Wolf. Two key things happen at this time that significantly change the Hearthstone Standard meta. First, the pool of eligible card sets for Standard will shrink, moving Forged in the Barrens, United in Stormwind, and Fractured in Alterac Valley from the Year of the Griffin out of Standard and into Wild. After rotation, Standard will include Voyage to the Sunken City, Murder at Castle Nathria, March of the Lich King, Festival of Legends, and the updated core set. The core set will remain the free baseline collection of cards that helps define class identities and synergies for the year. Before we dive into this year's core set updates, here's a quick look at some other 2023 plans. Battlegrounds has a full lineup of great content this year, including three seasonal updates with at least one major new system update, similar in scale to Buddies a new record for BG content. Eureka! Season 3 kicked off featuring Putricide's dual minion mashup and the undead as a new minion type. We also have an exciting shakeup for the wild format planned for later this year, which includes new and updated cards, along with other fun surprises to breathe new life into memorable cards from Hearthstone history. 2023 is a content-packed year for both Standard and Battlegrounds. Expect to see frequent balance updates, more special in-game events with great rewards, and regular feature improvements like a better way to open a lot of packs coming soon. Now let's jump in and tour the new core set for the Year of the Wolf. When building out core sets, we like to start with large-scale items like keywords. And this year, we're excited to add Magnetic to the mix. We've also heard a lot of wonderful feedback for Tradable, a keyword from the Year of the Griffin, so it's being officially instated as an evergreen keyword you can expect to see for many years to come. We're also bringing back some fan-favorite legendary minions like Dr. Boom, Ragnaros the Fire Lord, and the Black Knight, which you may notice looks a little bit different. Some other notable neutral ads include Tour Guide, Cult Neophyte, Glacial Shard, and Dirty Rat. These additions mean we have to say goodbye to some others, so Bran Bronzebeard, Sir Finley Mergleton, Reno Jackson, and Elise Starseeker will be heading off on some Explorers League business for the foreseeable future. Next, let's dig into highlights for each class. Priest is a class that was built around the core identity of healing, but healing tends to be weaker than other class identities, like dealing damage, drawing cards, or even gaining armor. Changing this identity didn't make sense thematically, so instead, we chose to make healing more rewarding in situations where your minions are at full health, with our new keyword, Overheal. Overheal is similar in scope to other class-specific keywords like Combo or Overload, and we'll continue to print Overheal cards in future sets and expand on it as a keyword going forward. In addition to Overheal, we've made a number of balance changes to Priest cards like Draconid Operative, Psychic Conjurer, and Holy Nova, including Attack, Health, Mana Cost, and Text Box changes. We're also bringing back Katrina Muerte with some small changes to reinforce Undead as a minion type specific to Priest. Cards like Radiant Elemental, Northshire Cleric, and Lyra the Sun Shard will be rotating out of the Priest core set to make room for cards like Crimson Clergy, Shadow Ascendant, and the new and improved Mana Geode. Because Death Knight just got their core set, we're gonna wait to make adjustments, but we do look forward to expanding on their rune identities throughout the year. Demon Hunter had a really strong showing last year, but it is losing powerful pieces in the standard rotation. So to compensate, we've made adjustments to a few of their existing core set cards, and we've removed some underutilized pieces like Corvus Bloodthorn and Sightless Watcher in favor of Immolation Aura, Illidari Studies, and Kane Sun Fury. In the Druid core set, we've made some changes to iconic Druid cards to make them a bit more competitive. Mounted Raptor, Earthen Scales, and Fandral Staghelm will be leaving core in favor of a group of cards originally released in the Madness at the Darkmoon Fair expansion, Solar Eclipse, Lunar Eclipse, and Kiri Chosen of Elune. To strengthen the Hunter Secret Pool, Snake Trap will be rotating out of core in favor of Wandering Monster and Cat Trick. Some other Hunter highlights include the removal of Cloaked Huntress, Dire Frenzy, and Houndmaster Shaw, and the addition of Jeweled Macaw, Doggy Biscuit, and Dragonbane. For Mage, we're reinforcing an elemental sub-theme with cards like Arcane Artificer and Flame Geyser. We're also heating things up a bit with fire spells like Fire Sail and Firelands Portal. To make room for these additions, Ethereal Conjurer, Cone of Cold, and Pyromaniac will be rotating out. We wanted to identify which of Paladin's core identities was serving them best, 
So we've reinforced Silver Hand Recruits and Hand Buff with Muster for Battle, Grime Street Outfitter, and Lothraxian the Redeemed. We've also gone through and buffed up classic Paladin cards like True Silver Champion, Consecration, and Hammer of Wrath, and removed the secret Paladin identity for the time being to balance everything out. While Paladin is saying goodbye to secrets, Rogue will be receiving some extra support for secrets to assist their cards from murder at Castle Nathria. Cheat Death, Plagiarize, and Ambush will be moving into the core set and helping make Rogue secrets feel a bit more secretive. We're also bringing back some old favorite Rogue cards with buffs. Elven Minstrel will be returning with three health, and Fen of Knives will now cost two mana. For the Shaman core set, we'll be rotating out cards like Rockbiter Weapon, Tidal Surge, and Maelstrom Portal in favor of bringing in additional Overload and Totem Synergy, such as Ancestral Knowledge, Overdraft, Thing From Below, and Grand Totem Eyesore. Warlock will be receiving some Big Demon and Control cards like Enhanced Dreadlord, Voidcaller, Malganus, and Defile, replacing Tiny Knight of Evil, Darkshire Librarian, and High Priestess Jeklik. For the Warrior class, we've removed a number of underutilized cards like Fiery War Axe, Armor Smith, Gore Howl, and Darius Crowley. And in their place, we've added some stronger removal and defensive options like Bladestorm, Dynamatic, and Armegadillo. That wraps up our class highlights for the core set. We can't wait to join you for an adventurous Year of the Wolf. Something we're excited to do throughout the Year of the Wolf is to be more flexible with our core set in general. Whether that means balance changes, rotating cards early, or introducing new cards during the year to support expansion releases, we want to truly craft the core set to serve our players as the year unfolds. With that, be sure to check out the Year of the Wolf blog for the full list of changes. Finally, we have the Festival of Legends kicking off in just a couple weeks, so get your favorite band tee and Bix tape ready, because it's gonna be a banger. You can log in right now to get ETC Band Manager as a free login reward during pre-purchase. Until next time, we'll see you in the tavern.